Now let's factor trinomials. x squared plus 7x plus 10 and x squared plus 6x plus 5. But before we get started, I'll just remind you guys of one thing. I'm just going to use one simple example just to explain the concept of uh, factoring trinomials. So I'm just going to expand x plus 1 times x plus 3. So we're going to multiply x times x, which is x squared, x times 3, 3x, 1 times x, just 1x, or just, I'll just write x, and 1 times 3, 3. Now we can combine like terms, and we have x squared plus 4x plus 3. Look at that, that's a trinomial. So when we are factoring, we want to go from the trinomial back over here and write down the x plus 1 times the x plus 3. So that's the fully factored form of x squared plus 4x plus 3. So factoring is really the opposite of expanding in this case. So let's take a look here. x squared plus 7x plus 10. We want to open two sets of parentheses. We'll put an x over here, another x over there. And we want two numbers, one over here, another one on the right, that will make this happen. That will give us x squared plus 7x plus 10. And there is an easy strategy that we can use to make that happen. So we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to 10 and add up to 7. For the second one, two numbers that multiply to 5 and add up to 6. But in this case, two numbers that multiply to 10 and add up to 7, what will they be? Well, how about 2 and 5? 2 plus 5 is 7, and 2 times 5 is 10. Fantastic. So that's the answer. And what do we do with this? Well, we're going to add a 2 over here and add a 5 over here. So that is the fully factored form of the trinomial. x plus 2 times x plus 5. If we decided to expand it just to check, we can do that. x times x, x squared. x times 5, 5x. 2 times x, 2x. And 2 times 5, 10. We can combine like terms. We get 7x. And look at that. We were right. X, sorry, x squared plus 7x plus 10 is x plus 2 times x plus 5. Let me make a nice little rectangular box enclosing the answer. And over in over on the other side, question number two, same thing, we're, we're going to open two sets of parentheses, and we're looking for two numbers that add up to 6 and multiply to 5. So we always, the numbers that, we'll, um, that we're looking for in this case will be just 5 and 1, because 5 plus 1 is 6, and 5 times 1 is 5. So we're going to add a 5 and add a 1. So that's it. Fully factored. 